Uh oh. I think I left the oven on. <gasps> Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 Blind. In the last episode, we were playing as Shadow, and we completed the level Dusty Desert, which we were at because... Uh, we were following Mephilus there because he was supposedly going after a Chaos Emerald that might have lived in that area. So, we followed him there and we got to the end of the level, but the episode ran out of time so we could not quite confront him. So today, we will be doing just that. However, right before starting this episode, I just checked, we are ridiculously close to the end of Shadow's story, 95%. So today is probably going to be the epic, thrilling conclusion to the tale of Shadow the Hedgehog. So if you were excited to take on Mephiles, if you were excited to see how Shadow's story ends, and if you were excited to finally get back into Sonic 06, please make sure to leave a like on the video down below. It really helps out, and I really appreciate it. With that, I hope you all brought your robes, and your canteens, and your knives to cut up them cacti, because we're going back into the land of loading screens, apparently. <laughs> the Dusty Desert. Everything looks like puke here, it's kind of gross. <laughs> I have not slept in 10,000 years! Uh-oh. We could get like $3,000 for this thing! Is it a future in which this game doesn't exist? Oh! Shadow is firing them shots. Shadow the Hedgehog. Truly a shame that you wish to go against me. You know, Ephelus. Mephilus might be a little bit intimidating if he actually, you know, expressed emotion ever. <laughs> oh God! What? <laughs> this looks like some like. Yellow submarine fever dream type of stuff, but okay, apparently. I'll make sure you regret this, Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, whatever. I'm a main character. Nobody cares. Um, apparently, uh, we're going for a swim in like swamp water. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> but first, we need thirty seconds to, you know. Uh, realize what our mission objective is, which is to defeat Mephilus. Thank you very much, Loading Screen, for pointing that out. And I guess we are starting with the final boss fight of Shadow's story, because why not? Oh my god, is that... <laughs> oh god, that was gross. Okay, so we can't just attack him outright, because he's like a god or whatever. I don't even know. Um, can we attack these things, though? They are going into the water. They just want to have a swim, too. Get them some exercise. But the reason I was so, like upset there at the beginning for a second was because, like, it was going so slowly that I thought the swampy stuff slowed you down, but no, that was just the game slowdown. <sighs> you know, game, it's okay if you struggle once in a while, everybody does. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter, take things at your own piece. pace, you be you. Oh god, what is that? Not something I want to touch, I- so oh my god! Uh, can I just attack you? Nope, I'm kicking the inside of this thing. Ew! He doesn't have intestines or anything. I suppose that's good, considering I was inside of his body, but... How do I... How do I? Do I attack your hands? Uh, no, apparently. That makes you angry, and that's it. Oh, can I do this? Yes. Oh, okay, that is doing damage to him. He's like, ow! Ow, I got a boo-boo! Don't do that! I'm telling my mommy! Go ahead and tell mommy Mephilus. She isn't gonna do a thing. She's all talk, man. All bark and no bite. Just like most hedgehogs I've met. It's kind of weird. You would think that some demon, uh, demon god, like, trying to destroy the world would choose a form that's maybe a tiny, tiny bit more intimidating than a hedgehog. <laughs> but I guess hedgehogs are just, like, the end-all, be-all of power in this universe, because, like, Shadow is the ultimate life form. Make sure to design him as a hedgehog. Sonic is the fastest thing alive, and he's a hedgehog, so whatever. Who am I? to question the laws of hedgehoggery. Absolutely nobody. <laughs> but, uh, are we doing anything here? I assume we have to build up our chaos meter and go into, like, super evil chaos uh, revenge mode or whatever. But, um, that kind of takes a while. Wait, can I? 
There we go. Oh, yes, there we go, and he's destroyed, and Mephilus, I'm coming for you, buddy. Right in the kisser. Take that, mom. You know, you don't understand me. Can I still just- oh, no. You can still get hurt in this mode. Durr. <laughs> I thought I could just run up and attack him while he was doing whatever, but not quite the case. Where you at, bro? No! These attacks are so easy to avoid. Like, you, sh you could probably notice, I keep looking over at the camera and I'm paying about 30% attention, and I'm still in absolutely no danger whatsoever. Like, if I get hit, I'll just pick up another ring. I mean, if these were, like, rapid-fire attacks or something, then maybe there would be a little bit of, like, danger here, but I, I can... It's, there's no consequence to me just being dumb and doing whatever. Like, look at that. I did a whole bunch of damage to him. Didn't even lose my rings. They, like, bounced back into me, which is awesome. <laughs> so I guess he's making clones of himself, but I see right through your treachery, Mephilus. Oh, God. I'll do it again. <laughs> Gotta build that chaos meter back up, man. Cool stuff. It's my favorite part of any video game where you cannot attack the boss no matter what, for at least five minutes at a time. But we've got these little dudes flying at us. They're kind of cute. Can I have one, Mephilus? Can I take one home? What are they even? I can't even tell. <laughs> are they like little mini Mephiles? Mephiluses? Me 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 monkeys? <laughs> I don't know what these things are. My buddy's throwing them at us. They did absolutely nothing. There's actually quite a few rings in this boss fight, so I guess that's a good thing. But, to start things off, we gotta take on the Titan of Terror, the Colossus himself, who does absolutely nothing. Like, what even was that? Bro, come on, get it together. I would be a better Colossus than you, and I weigh like 5 pounds. Alright, why are there 20 of them, though? <laughs> this kind of makes things more exciting, I suppose, but they just stand there and they're like, Ah, I'm scary! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and that's all they do. Like, I guess that was- okay, he fired a l- alright, I- <laughs> See, the only reason I'm taking damage is because I'm being completely stupid and reckless. But I can go ahead and attack that guy, kick him in the jaw. Can I- oh, didn't quite- oh, I thought he had to have his mouth open, but apparently you can attack him whenever you want. So that's pretty cool, honestly. Oh, we have our Chaos Meter- Meter- Ben. <laughs> meter full. I know the face cam thing is, like, over that all the time when you guys are watching these videos, so... If I'm not paying attention to them, I could totally just not mention it and you guys would never, ever know. Except, that's not the case because I'm dumb and don't know how to utilize the advantages that I have. <laughs> so I'm gonna just act like an idiot all day, every day, and I'm gonna sink into darkness, apparently. Oh, was I supposed to be, like, homing attacking those clones that he made himself? Can I... Is that... I guess that's the idea here, but we're playing as Shadow, so it's bad. <laughs> the homing attack with Shadow was so dumb, but either way, we just finished up the Mephilus fight. And if that was the final boss of Shadow's story... I am forever. I am invincible. I am... <laughs> that man's dead. Get him a bandage or something. Is, is he going to be fine in this next cutscene, though? Because I swear games do that all the time. Oh, no. First, got to dance around and look all cool. Do our arms crossing pose or whatever it is. And there we go. What kind of rank did we get on the final boss of Shadow Store? We got ourselves... Need to stay focused. C for... Could have been worse. <laughs> but there we go. I'm not too disappointed. You know, I took my time. I was smelling the roses like this game loves to do so many times. But that does it for Shadow the Hedgehog story, I suppose. Grab that gold medal, and yep, we got his music and his theater stuff, so uh, that does it. That's the end of his story. Let's cancel that save operation and sit down, sit back, watch ourselves a claymation cutscene. <laughs> I'm melting! <laughs> I love that sad expression he had. He was just like, aw. I'm sorry. Gross, though. Oh. <laughs> Mephilus just wanted to have a rave. That's it. That's why he wanted all the Chaos Emeralds, to have the most powerful rave of all time. The eye of now 
absorbed your power through your shadow in the past. What may have worked ten years ago no longer does. I don't speak English not. <laughs> Are you kidding me though? They call me Broly. Behold my power. Oh my god. Two of seven and he can already do that? Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, calm down, buddy. You must realize now that you cannot hope to stop me with your limited power. You need renewable energy. Okay, that joke was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Second I started talking, I was like, this is gonna be absolutely terrible. Why fight at all? Why risk your life for those who will persecute you later? If the world chooses to become my enemy, I will fight like I always have. Kitty gloves are off, boys. Here we go against Oh my god! Oh my god! Shadow! Chill, bro! Extreme roller skating! Oh my gosh! Is that it? No! <laughs> For once, this game actually has me on the edge. I want to know what happens next. How did he even do that? Is he just... Is he just that powerful? Is he just that cool? Is that the explanation? Like, Shadow is the coolest hedgehog in all the land. He has all the power built up. But, as far as I remember, and it's been a while since i played this game, he doesn't have any Chaos Emeralds on him. So I guess he's just been practicing his form. He's been in that gym. He's been doing him some little hedgehog squats. And he's just blowing through everybody. <laughs> but okay, so Mephilus is still alive. He absorbed... Shadows, I, I don't know. Anytime there's time travel involved in anything, I just get completely lost instantly. But, um... So... Uh, Mephilus absorbed other shadows, like, power or whatever, and for some reason that allows him to escape the Scepter of Darkness, which sort of feels like a kind of just thrown in there explanation, like, oh, crap, we still gotta have a last story, don't we? Well, Mephilus is still alive, kids, there we go. <laughs> but, um... So he's still alive, and he's still doing his thing, and he honestly looks stronger than ever because he got the Chaos Emerald that was at Dusty Desert. So, we've still got a whole bunch of crap to deal with. Maybe it'll get resolved in Silver Story, but I assume it's just going to last until the final story, which is the signature story of all Sonic games. But if Shadow's that strong without even being, like, super or having Chaos Emeralds or something, man, can't wait to play as him again. Just kidding. Playing a shadow was not the most fun thing in the world. See, I really, really, um, enjoyed Sonic Story, actually. Not because the game is, like, s good or anything, because it's really not. But <laughs> it's not, like, an awful, hair-tearing, gut-wrenching experience, right? Because you know it's gonna be silly because of all these glitches and all these, like, design mishaps and oversights and stuff like that, which made Sonic Story interesting. Because you were, like, moving all the time, and there was always something wacky at every other turn to make me laugh. Shadow Story was a little bit like that. We did definitely have some stuff like that. Like, in Dusty Desert, I remember our cart was, like, flipping all over the place and falling through the floor, and there was no quicksand animation. That was so funny to me. But, no, for real, though, like... <laughs> you could see beneath the map the whole... Uh, half the time. And you just fall directly through the sand. That's it. It was great. Anyway, um, Shadow's story was a bit more tedious than Sonic. Significantly more tedious than Sonic's, actually. Because he's Shadow and he's all action-packed and the strongest hedgehog in the universe, um, there was a lot more fighting on his side of the story, as I think you guys probably noticed. I definitely did. And his fighting style is absolutely awful. I hate the way that he combos, uh, into, like, a combo. What am I doing? <laughs> My fist right here, I'm doing like fisticuffs, I just looked in the viewfinder on my camera and I'm like, yeah, that looking really intimidating, guys. Ugh. Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Embarrassing myself as usual. But, um, 
His fighting style is really clunky feeling, and it makes normal platforming feel really clunky, because you can combo into one of those attacks from anywhere. <clears throat> and that was a really big bother for me throughout the story. Plus, there's just so many random, like, groups of enemies. And I know there were some for Sonic Story, like, randomly in Soliana, it was like, Here, fight this big old group of enemies, man. Have fun. But in Shadow Story, that was a core element of, like, all the level design. At least in Sonic Story, even though there were mock speed segments and they controlled badly, it, like, you were moving. You were getting somewhere, usually. And Shadows, though... Oh, it was a pretty cool cutscene. <laughs> the plot there seems like something straight out of a fan fiction. Like, Mephilus grew a hundred times in power and cloned himself. I don't know. <laughs> it's going for that Dragon Ball Z style. No, you thought you defeated the villain, but he's actually a million times stronger than he really is. Aha! <laughs> but anyway, cool looking cutscene. It, it, really, it really gets the child in me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Shadow's gameplay was significantly more tedious than Sonic's, but that's not to say I didn't enjoy his story. I definitely enjoyed going through it and seeing all of that wacky stuff that Sonic 06 comes packaged with. And I'd like to thank you all for coming through this part of the ride with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, because honestly, still a pretty positive experience. And for those of you who are like super critical of Sonic 06 or whatever, I am too. I recognize that this is not, especially Shadow's story, is not well designed. <laughs> This, this is not good, and there's just so many unforgivable glitches and oversights, like that voice actor reading his line over without them editing it out when he had when Shadow had to go to Wave Ocean after getting the Scepter of Darkness or whatever. But anyway, um, I'm just saying, it's really fun to like point and laugh at that kind of stuff, but it was a little bit hindered by the slow pace of Shadow's levels and the sheer amount of enemies that we had to deal with here and there. Either way, though, Shadow the Hedgehog. Right on the edge. Edgy as always. And, uh, that was his story. <laughs> what an experience. So what we have left is Silver the Hedgehog. We got the, the Holy Trinity of Hedgehogs, apparently. And Silver... Has a pretty unique gameplay style. I can't really see his gameplay being all that much more fun than Shadows, but I've heard there's some really wacky glitches with Silver, and I heard like some of his voice clips or something are like really entertaining. Not just the "it's no use" from Sonic Story or whatever, but um, I'm sure that's going to be an entertaining ride. I really hope you guys stick around for that because I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see if I can stand. The, 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 the telekinetic powers, the box throwing, the box jumping, the box riding, the box lifting, the box pudding. <laughs> Which has composed Silver's gameplay so far. And maybe I can, or maybe it's no use, who knows. Either way, um, wait, does it play his world for every single credit sequence? Because I know it just played Shadow's theme song, which is entirely, like, forgettable. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. The music selections they always do with Shadow, like... Were there any songs associated directly with Shadow in Sonic Adventure 2? I don't remember. But with, like, Shadow the Hedgehog, and in this game as well, apparently, they always do go for that heavier, sort of more... Metal, I wanted to say grunge, but I guess it's not really grunge. Um, they, they always go for that heavier, sort of darker feel, and they always end up completely forgettable. Like, what was, what was Shadow's theme song again? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, that was Shadow's story. I really hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, once again, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like on the video down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for all your support. I really do appreciate it. Love all of you. You're pretty, and you're pretty, and you're pretty, and you're beautiful. <laughs> anyway, I'm dragging this on way too long for absolutely no reason. So thank you all once again for the final time for watching, and I will see you guys next time in Silver Story. So, see you guys then.